guys welcome to today's video tutorial it has been a super long time since I've done one of these so I apologize I haven't stayed on my guard with getting my video tutorials up but you know I'm kind of in the spirit spring is right around the corner and we've had so much snow here recently that I'm super stoked and excited to show you guys how to make a really adorable Easter Bunny hair clip example of one. This one is pink and I'm going to show you how to make one using some blue. How adorable is that? So the material that you're going to need for this video tutorial is obviously your ribbon. You are going to be working with 3 8 inch wide grow grain ribbon. So I've got my ribbon kind of already organized. Over here I've got three pieces. This is going to be the outer body of the Easter Bunny which is going to be this part down here. So two pieces of your white, you're gonna have one cut at four inches, the second one cut at three and a half inches, and then you're going to use whatever color you choose to um, accent your bunny hair clip. Um, I'm working with blue, but that one needs to be cut at three inches, and that is going to be used for the center part of the stomach. Then you're going to need another white piece of 3 8 inch girl grain ribbon. This is going to be the head and that needs to be cut at 2 inches. Over here, this is going to be our ears. You need a white and blue or whichever contrasting color you want to use. You want them both, well all four, to be cut at the same length. And that's going to be 2 and a half inches for all four pieces. Then you're going to need a cute little bow. This one here I made very simply. Um, simply? Is that even a word? <laughs> Basically what I did was I took a good four inch piece of ribbon and I curved it over like an awareness bow. For an example, I'll show you guys real quickly. I just did this little number and then I brought the back down like so where it looked like that. And then I took an alligator clip and I clipped it to hold it in place and this is also going to help us. Now if you've got some thread on hand, grab some of that. You don't need a super long piece, just long enough to um, work with. I'm going to real quickly just kind of show you guys how I made it. Um, but you want on your alligator clip, you want to have like a hole here and a hole there because this is what we're going to put our thread through. So you're going to push your thread all the way through to the other side like so. And then you're going to do the same with this side. You're going to push it through. And once you've gathered it, you're just going to tie it off in the back and then cut off your excess. And then you can remove your finished bow from the alligator clip. And that is how you make these little bows. If you choose to not do all that and you just want to be kind of quick about it, you can just bring your ribbon over like this, place a dot of glue, turn it over to the back, place a dot of glue, and then take this part and bring it down and hold it in place and then it will make a perfect bow as well. For your bow if you choose, you can have an embellishment. I have a little light blue rhinestone here. I pick mine up at Hobby Lobby. They come on a sheet which look like this. And they have many color options available. You're also going to need a set of googly eyes, so grab you some of those. And this right here is going to be our nose on the bunny, like right here. This is one of those little pom-pom balls they like to call. And uh, they're the smallest ones that you get, and you can get them at Hobby Lobby as well, and they come in a variety of colors. Okay, so before we get started, the supplies you're going to need is obviously some type of ruler or tape measure to measure out your ribbon. You're also going to need a lighter so that you can heat seal the ends of those ribbons. When you, when you heat seal, you're just going to take your lighter and lightly run it across the end so that your ribbon does not fray. You're also going to need a hot glue gun, and mine is a hot mess. <laughs> a pair of scissors to cut your ribbon. An alligator clip lined so that you can attach your bunny to it, or you can actually just attach it to the center of a bow. When making this little bow, 
make sure you got some thread. And that is all the supplies and material that you need to make this cute bunny hair clip. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to start off by taking our body pieces, which were these three pieces I was telling you about. And we're going to start forming them. So go ahead and take your four inch piece and place a dot of glue at the end. And then take your other end of the ribbon and just bring it around like this. And hold it in place for a minute. And be very careful because this is hot. If you choose, you can definitely use some tweezers so that you don't get no glue on your hands or burn yourself. So here's our outer piece. And go to your second piece, which was your three and a half inch, and place the dot of glue at the end. Bring that end around. Okay, now we're going to take our three inch blue piece and we're going to do the same thing. Just place a dot of glue on the end. And bring it around. It's a little tougher the smaller the ribbon gets when you do this. That's why I say tweezers are a big helper if you want to use those. Okay. So now we've got our three pieces and we're going to attach them all together. So with our biggest piece, which was our four inch piece of ribbon, we're going to flip it over to the bottom and place a dot of glue right here where we glued it the first time. Once you've done that, take your second piece, which was your three and a half inch piece of ribbon, and facing the same direction, just place it against that glue there. And when you turn it over, you can see your layers. So go ahead and place a dot of glue right here once again on that second piece you just attached. take your blue piece which was your three inch piece of ribbon and turn it over just like the others and place it just like that so that when you turn it over you can see the layers so now that we've finished that part you're gonna take your two inch piece of white grow grain ribbon and we're gonna form the head so what we're gonna do is do exactly what we did with these so you're gonna take your hot glue and you're going to place a dab at the very end of one of your ends of your ribbon here. And then bring your other piece around like this. Okay, so once you have that part done, what we're going to do is kind of take the back here and we're going to kind of like smash it where it looks like that. So on the back, you're just going to take it and kind of push it down like that. So once you do that and you got it where you want it, kind of crease the sides of your ribbon. Because this is going to be our guide so that we can place the glue on the back. So once you've done that, turn it over and there's like a crease down there and then there's a crease over here. So take your hot glue and place a dot of glue on each crease, starting with one at a time though. Just a little bit though, you don't want too much so that the hot glue doesn't seep out around the edges of the ribbon. So there's that side, just hold it there for a minute. And then we're going to do this side, so flip it back over, take your hot glue, and you have to open it up a little bit. Just a little dot. And smash it. And it's okay if some of the glue seeps out on the back there, like mine did, because it's going to be the back anyways and you're not going to be able to see it. Okay. 
so once you've done that, you've got the head formed. Set that to the side. And if you haven't already made your little bow to put on there, go ahead and pause this video and do that now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the head of our bunny and we're going to attach it to the body. So place a dot of glue up here at the top corner. And then take your head and just where it comes to a point is where you want to place it onto the body. And now you've got your head attached to the body. Now we're going to start working on the ears of the bunny. So we have two different colors. This is going to be one set of ears and this is going to be our second set of ears. These were our pieces that we cut at two and a half inches each. So you're going to take your white piece and you're going to take one of your blue pieces. And because they're the same size, we are going to place a dot of glue on the bottom of, or the part of the ribbon facing up at you on the white one. <laughs> We're going to place a dot of glue here at the end. And then you're going to take your blue piece of ribbon and you're going to place that directly on top. Making sure that the ends are completely lined up. Now you're going to place a dot of glue on the bottom part of that white ribbon. And we're going to attach the other end of that blue piece. So now they are completely attached at the ends. And you're going to do the same with your second piece. Okay, so I went on ahead and did my second piece. So if you haven't got your second piece done yet, go ahead and pause this video and do that. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and form the ears and attach them to the back of the bunny's head. So go ahead and take one of your sets, and what you're going to do is just bring it around like this. And we're not going to bring it completely around like that, because that's a little too open at the top. I like to make mine where it's about like that. So place a dot of glue at the end of your ribbon on top of the blue piece and bring this part around and hold it there for a second. And then go ahead and do the same with your second piece. And once you've finished with your ears, we're going to attach them to the back of the head. So what I like to do is I like to glue my ears together first and then attach them to the back of my head. So on the side, which is going to be like the middle of the bunny ears, I'm just going to place a dot of glue. Just kind of run it down the side just a little bit like that. And then I'm going to take my second set of ears here or the other ears, <laughs> and just kind of hold it there. And once you think you're comfortable with it sticking, you can go ahead and attach it to the back of your bunny head. So right in here on the bottom, we'll put a line of glue. And place this on like so. So 
starting to look like a bunny. Now that we've got that part done, we can attach our bow. So I'm going to take mine and just place a dot of glue in the middle because I haven't put my embellishment on there yet. So I'm going to do that real quick. Place a dot of glue on the back of my bow there in the center. And we're going to attach it right here in the middle where the head meets the body. Just like that. And once you've done that, go ahead and take your set of googly eyes and place a dot on the back of each one and it I mean according to your preference you can either put the eyes closely together or you can space them apart whichever you choose you've got your googly eyes on you can take that little fuzzy pom-pom and place it just underneath the eyes there in the center I think these are so adorable for Easter not even just Easter but obviously um, that would be the more appropriate time to wear them but also you can use them, you know, when you take your little one to the zoo. This video, if you have little, like, glue pieces that are just kind of going everywhere, you can use your lighter or a blow dryer and get all those pieces off. Okay, so there is our blue bunny. He's so cute. And here's our pink one. How adorable are those? So cute. You can head over to my Facebook fan page at Ribbons Boutique and I will include my link in the down bar below. I am doing a giveaway there where I'm giving away the pink bunny, so go check it out. Feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comment section down below and head over to Facebook at Ribbons Boutique and enter in my giveaway. I definitely hope it's warming up where you're at. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this video tutorial. I will talk to you all soon.